Americans are being played right now. I don't care if you're white or you're black. If you're emotional about what's going on in the country right now, you are being played. Guilty white people, angry black people, you are both at fault right now. And both of you are being played. Blacks and whites are confused because you've been consuming demonic ideas, evil thoughts, wrong thinking. You're being manipulated emotionally from a mainstream media that's owned by a Marxist, fascist, communist, evil cabal of people that seek to destroy you. And it's not even those people. And it's not even about black and white. It goes above and beyond that. It goes into the ideological realm and the spiritual realm. Right now, so many of us have our eyes so focused on what's in front of us. We're staring down the trees so tight that we can't see the whole goddamn forest. So if you are trying to make sense of all this, if you're trying to understand what's going on, if you're posting black squares on your Instagram or arguing with people on Facebook, you got to understand that you're falling for the bait. Divide and conquer. The oldest in the book. This is not new. What's going on right now, right? This is the fruits of 60, 70 years of indoctrination of an entire class, an, an entire nation that has caused us to be submissive, angry, guilt-ridden, self-loathing, and seeking the approval of mommy and daddy government, mommy and daddy media. Tell me what to think, tell me what to do, take care of me, do something. Not realizing that the same people that are causing a problem are the people that you're asking to do something about this problem. We gotta take our eyes off what's in front of us and we gotta rise up, we gotta ascend, you gotta enlighten, mean get lighter, get out of the density of this material Maya, the illusion. And recognize, if we go into the ideological realm, beyond black and white, we recognize that there's a clash of ideas. And earlier I spoke about communist, Marxist, far left thinking. This is a mind virus that has crept into the minds of American people after the world wars, Operation Paperclip, bringing the communist mindset into American schools, bringing it into American media, into American politics. One thing you gotta understand about communism is that it thrives on class warfare. You gotta pit the people against each other. You gotta make people hate one another. You gotta pe get people to look at the difference, with, focus on the differences between one another rather than the, than the unity be between one another. Communism is about separation, scattering. America is about unity. America is about gathering. Satan scatters, God gathers. God bless America. America has potential, but America's brainwashed right now. This mind virus that has crept in has a beautiful veneer. Communism sounds good. Marxism sounds good. Quote, unquote, equality sounds good. But you got to remember something. That the angel of light, Lucifer, was the most beautiful of all angels. Why? Because evil comes riding on beautiful white horses. Smells good, sounds good, looks good, but it's rotten to the core. You gotta reject it. So what do we do? Where do we go? How do we proceed? Recognize, number one, that your, your, the, the, your, your neighbor's not your enemy. The cops are not the energy enemy. Black people aren't the enemy. They're all robots of the enemy. They've all been manipulated by the enemy. They're all acting based on the brainwashing that's been delivered to them over the past three generations. 
by the enemy. But the enemy goes above and beyond that. The purveyor of ideologies and the clash of ideologies. An anti-American ideology that seeks to destroy the family. Black people, it's the same ideology that you subscribe to that, that, that causes you to think that white people are your enemy, that makes you feel entitled to reparations and to handouts from the government that's destroyed the black family, destroyed the black community. In the 1950s, black families stayed together. Only 20% of children were born out of wedlock. Now, something like 85% of children are born out of wedlock in the black commu community. You want a strong black community. You need strong fathers in the home, strong families. Not more handouts, not more pandering, not more guilt from white people. You need to come back to your, to your true values. You need to come back to when black people policed themselves, when black people had their own Wall Street, black people had their own court system. Integration ain't what it's all cracked up to be as you're going to see right now, as you're seeing right now. Sometimes it's better to be separate, to be self-sustaining, self-sufficient when you're operating out of a proper ideology, not communism, not handouts, not socialism, but out of self-reliance, capitalism, building your own, taking care of your family. Black people, you are at fault right now, big time. All this focus on white on black crime is backwards because if you look at the statistics, 10 times more black on white crimes happen and nobody can deny that. Come on, come on. Black people are violent in America, not because they're violent because of their DNA, because of their black skin, but because you've been fed an ideology to make you angry and entitled. Black people, you're at fault right now. White people, white people are at fault as well because you're allowing, you're facilitating, you're pushing and, and, and bowing down and cowing tow, kowtowing to these ideologies that make you feel guilty. I don't know any slave owners. I never seen a slave owner. I never met a slave. I'm half black, half white. White people, you're fucked up. You're making the wrong choices. You're thinking the wrong way. And I don't buy the whole racism thing either. I don't think white people are as racist as the media has made us out to be, or them out to be. I say us both ways. But I'm gonna get heat from blacks and whites, so I don't care. It's not a black or white thing. It's a good versus evil thing. Evil ideologies have crept in and made the black community weak, subservient, angry. Bad ideas, evil ideas, make white people afraid and guilty and self-loathing. That's not what America is about. America is about a civil nationalism. We're all Americans. But we, gotta, we, we have to have consensus on what's right and what's wrong. Police killing anyone is wrong. I read a statistic recently that more white people die at the hands of police than black people. Why all the outrage? One way, one-sided, one against the other. Both sides need to stop it. When we recognize that it's a spiritual battle, when we rise up out of the material, move into the ideological, recognize the bad ideas that we've so easily accepted, then we can move into the realm of spirit where we come to recognize that this is not a new battle, this is an old battle, this has been going on for eons. Dark versus light, good versus evil. 
when we can see that, we can take off the blindfold. We can not be hypnotized by what we see in front of us and recognize that it's the heart of the individual. It's the heart of the people. It's the character of people. It's evil black people and it's evil white people that want to control you, manipulate you, and make you angry. Don't believe the media. The first thing you got to do is stop watching the news. That's the very first thing you got to stop doing because they're sensationalizing everything and they're lying. The lies about white on black crime, that's a lie. Police brutality is not what it seems. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but the outrage is misplaced. George Floyd. George Floyd apparently, or what they say, was that he was counterfeiting money and that's why he was arrested. I said this on an Instagram post the other day that if you want to know who the real, who the real enemy is, look at whose money he's counterfeiting. It's a counterfeit money from a counterfeit organization that rules America, the Federal Reserve Bank, fiat currency. They use it to manipulate us, this fake money. Now we got a police state that's arresting men, killing men for printing and already counterfeit money. Counterfeiting what's already counterfeit. Go to the top, keep rising up. Stop looking at what's in front of you. You're gonna be deceived if you keep looking at what's in front of you. Look at what's going on up high in the ideological realm, those that run this world, there is, huh, call me a conspiracy theorist, but there's a conspiracy because people conspire when they have power and it's not a theory, it's very obvious. George Soros, check him out. Antifa, where they're being funded from. Far left hate group. All this angst and anxiety was imported to America. Class warfare was imported into America. This idea of white versus black didn't always exist. I'm not sure our history books are even telling us the truth. We accept things as, they are, as we're, they're told to us. Slavery, white oppression. These are just tactics. These are just tools. These are just lies, in my opinion, to keep black people angry. When you're angry, you're easily controlled. Keep white people feeling guilty, not speaking up, not doing the right thing. Because they feel guilty. So, these are just some of my ideas. I did a podcast recently with Mike Bledsoe. Hopefully you go listen to it. I go a lot deeper into this. Um, we're living at a crossroads. We're living at a, in a time where there's, you, there's a harvesting there's those that's gonna fall with the density, with the darkness, with the division, and there's those that's gonna rise up, and we gotta rise up. We gotta rise up out of division. Rise out of darkness, rise out of density, rise out of this Maya, this illusion that you aren't me and I ain't you. We are one. Be on the side of good. Denounce evil. Look up, straight to the top. Find out where our money's coming from. Find out who told us our history. Where was it made up from? And we gotta come together. If it's a us versus them, that means it's good versus evil. Don't be tricked by fake good. Discern. Use your senses. Use your critical thinking. Stop being emotional. Be strong men. That's what the world needs right now. So that's it. Done.